I am a renewed woman today. <laughs> I'm literally glowing from the inside out, I swear. I needed a day like this so badly, so, so badly. And I know I'm not the only one in this situation. I know you've been there before because life is hectic. Let's be honest, it's really, really hectic. We always are just running, 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 and it takes a lot for us to slow down. And I really just needed a day of like relaxing and I had really good excuses <laughs> to do it. One, I was just tired. Two, it's a rainy day in Miami. Just when it rains, I usually don't like to go out. So yeah, it just, I said to myself, you know what? Let me do some yoga. Let me try out my new products from Nativa Spa, which is what I ended up doing. And oh my gosh, I have to review them for you because I can get to try the products. And I wanted to try them out before I could talk to you about them. So that's what I did today. And I have a lot to say about those products, but we're going to get to that later. Um, but that vlog really kind of made me think a lot about how I'm like living my life because I think that I'm a bit of like a workaholic and you know I also have three kids so it's really hard because I I rarely like stop you know and just kind of enjoy a little hair here okay and just kind of enjoy um, some downtime I love things like that like it takes very little to make me happy a good book you know um just a moment of like silence because it's really hard you know the house there's always so much noise um a nice walk things like that i'm very very simple in that respect but because i'm trying to do so much and i also just i'm giving so much like to my family it's hard for me to kind of just stop and take a breather and last vlog mind body green really made me think a lot about that like how you just, you just need to like make time for the things that are important to you the same way you do um when you want to be there for your family members and you want to give your um, career your all and everything you're doing you give 100 but you also have to give yourself time to just relax and do the things that are just good for your well-being like yoga and a nice long bath and self-care and stuff like that and um i have to say that i it really does make a difference because today i was like okay let me try out the new products vlog i'm just being very transparent here i mainly wanted to do this so i could vlog and kind of try out the products for you but in the process i just felt so good um i did yoga for beginners and um i love it I've, i'm always like afraid of yoga because i don't think i'm good at it but it's not because I'm not good at it. It's just because, oh my God, my hair is such a mess. It's because I normally don't do too much stretching. So I feel like I'm going to like not do well in a, in a yoga session, but it was amazing. I was able to stretch. I feel good. Um, you know, last vlog, my back was hurting. So I thought, okay, maybe this will help me. And I feel, I feel renewed. I feel like a different human. And then I took that relaxing bath and it just really, really helped me decompress i feel so good i'm gonna wear my swarovski um bracelet i haven't worn this one in a while because i just have so many cute things i've been wearing my lana rose bracelet a whole lot um but i kind of feel for this bracelet today i still have to go like do some errands before i pick up the kids so i'm gonna look halfway decent my hair is not at its best um yeah the weather in miami has been just icky like just really really icky a lot of humidity and like rain and sun i've gotten a lot of sun which i like and i don't like because i like it because i like to have like a bronzy look but i don't like it because i know it's really bad for my skin and my freckles are actually pretty um pronounced which um we'll talk about later because i got a product for that but i have a little um makeup haul so i wanted to kind of unbox them with you just kind of show you what i've been getting because i want to kind of i want to kind of tweak my makeup routine for the spring and summer um i usually just go for a glowy makeup look anyways but for the spring and summer even more so let me just grab them they're in here this is a huge mess which is another thing i want to do after is i want to fix my little hang on just give me a second oh my god my hair is so messy ladies oh my gosh i'm gonna look like 
a huge mess. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to just kind of tweak my makeup a little bit, kind of get products. One I've been wanting to get, and I just haven't gotten to it. The other ones are just new things that I wanted to try out. And um, I love glowy makeup. That's not a secret, you know. You know, I love my glowy makeup, but especially for the spring and summer. I like my skin to always glow um, and just be like moisturized. I just like the look. I think it's more youthful. But anyways, let me start with my little favorite. This is one that I love. You know, I've used this before. I talk about it all the time. It is my Jones Road um, What the Foundation Foundation. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it. The only reason why I haven't gotten it is because I've been using my Shiseido um, foundation, which I absolutely love. I would say this is my second. Like, this is still my first favorite. But this is such a great foundation because it's more of a... It has moisturizer with a little bit of foundation in it, which is great because most, most products will have it the other way around. Um, they'll have foundation with a little bit of... Um, like moisturizer in it this is the opposite it's really really nice on your skin so the only complaint i have with that one in particular is i think the color that i got has a lot of yellow in it and my skin tone has a lot of yellow in it to begin with and i know you're thinking well isn't that the point right finding a foundation that really matches your skin tone but i kind of like when there's a little bit of a pinky tone to foundations i just find it to be better on my skin or even like a golden tone um and I love my Jones Road foundation. This is the shade beige. First of all, when you put this on your skin, it's like putting a moisturizer. It really is. It's like putting your daily moisturizer. And again, it just leaves your face completely moisturized, just absolutely beautiful, radiant, glowy. And um, I realize that it's not a full coverage foundation. So if you're a full coverage foundation type of girl, then this is not for you, because it isn't that. Um, but for me, I really do feel like it gives you um, a nice little foundation. Like for me, foundation should be something that is on your skin so that everything else just kind of blends in nicely. That's the way I approach foundation. I've never been the type of person that just wants full coverage on my face. I don't like the feeling. Um, I don't like how it looks on my skin. I like to let my skin kind of breathe a little bit, let my freckles show. And I also live in Miami. And I personally think that like heavy foundation in Miami, just it just doesn't, it doesn't mix. But, but being truthful to myself, even if I lived in a cold place, I wouldn't be wearing full coverage foundation just because it's not me. And this one I find just really does the job of like laying this beautiful foundation and just um letting my face shine because i mean i have flaws i have a scar right here that looks like like hair because it's right here obviously but it's it's an actual scar i have freckles and i've learned throughout the years to just honestly just like embrace my flaws because who doesn't have flaws and that's not to say i don't don't like feel unhappy about certain things like if i could get rid of this little scar i would <laughs> to be honest I don't like it at all but at the same time i'm like you know what i have other great things about myself so i just have learned to embrace a natural look this is who i am this is one face i have to live with it the rest of my life let me embrace it so i love this i love this foundation i think it's amazing have i said enough about it <laughs> so that's that and then i also got this um protect prime serum that i heard i think it was wait what's her name i think her name is maddie maddie something i can't remember her last name but she's another youtuber and she was applying her makeup and i liked the way her makeup looked it looked very like glowy and she recommended this product and this is rich bitch <laughs> and youtube i have an excuse to curse okay because that's the actual name of of this product by freck beauty and um i figured let me get it i usually don't use primer i think if your face is like very moisturized and you use the right foundations and stuff you don't necessarily need a primer but i got curious and so i ended up getting it <laughs> it just looks like this so we'll give this a try next time maybe i'll do like my spring and summer makeup look let's see so that's that and then i also got in like you know the sephora like what is it points 
gives you like little rewards and stuff i ended up getting the makeup forever hd skin setting powder just caught my attention because you know i love my laura mercier um setting powder it's for me it's like magic in a bottle like it really is it just has a way of just um blurring but like not taking away the glow of your face and i like that it doesn't dry your skin but i've heard this is good so i want to try it and it's just like a small little i also like the fact that it's tiny so i can just throw it in my bag because again it gets really hot in miami so if i can just apply a little bit underneath here this is a perfect size and then i got some lip products because ah my lips my lips my lips my lips i get really worried when it comes to my lips because i don't know what it is that i have what's wrong with my lips I know I went to the allergist and apparently I have a million and one allergies, but I mean, they're good today. They're, I have nothing on by the way, and they're actually pretty pink, but that's because they flare up every now and again. So they get like this pink tone, which is nice, but they also kind of sting and hurt sometimes. But today is a good day. They're actually very moisturized and I just have my, my Aquaphor. That's it. I didn't put any lipstick on today. I've been trying to let my lips breathe um, from any products because I'm like, I can't use my Dior lipstick, this one, it irritates my skin. And as a creator, it's really hard because I wanna try products, I wanna try lip shades, I wanna try lipsticks. So I need to figure that out, to be honest. Like where I kind of, <laughs> how I'm gonna navigate that really, because it's really hard, like I said, as, as a beauty and lifestyle blogger and just like, you know, I'm always trying to share stuff, so it's a little bit difficult. But I got the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade, what color? Let's see if I open it and see the shade. It's kind of like a peachy tone. And you already know Summer Fridays is a vegan product, so I figured maybe this won't irritate my skin. I think the shade is poppy. Let's just try it, but it looks like this. And I like peach on my skin tone. And I think it's a beautiful color, especially like for spring and summer. I love it. It's so pretty. It looks really nice on my skin tone. I knew this color would kind of match my complexion. And so far, this feels amazing on my lips. It didn't sting. Usually, um, when a product stings right away on my lips, I know it's not going to be a good thing. So, happy I got this. And then I also got the Summer Fridays Dream Lip Oil because I just wanted to play it safe and get products that are really clean that can be good for my lips. I got my glasses because I can't see. All right, so what color is this one? This one is in the color Blush Dreams and it's just like a kind of taupey pink. So I'm excited to try that, but I already have this one on, so I'm not gonna put that one on. Anyways, that's all I got. But I also have some things coming in the mail because, um, I got a little bit adventurous. <laughs> I've been watching like a lot of like, um, like makeup stuff like on TikTok and YouTube and those things always get you like they just do because then you want to try things out. And I've always been, you know, kind of like minimal when it comes to my makeup. I'm not very adventurous. Like I stick to kind of the same stuff, but I was like, you know what? Let's be different this summer. And I noticed that my um, freckles have kind of darkened a little bit but not in the way that i like like i like freckles but i kind of like a little bit more pronounced and mine are kind of like blurry like if you were to see me in person you would see i have a lot of freckles here but it's kind of like a light brown kind of blurry color and i saw another i saw a girl talk about that how she likes to use like clean products very minimal foundation she likes her freckles to show but she accentuates her freckles with um i think it's a, with the tart i forgot what the product is called but it's from tart and i liked the way that it looked because it kind of pronounced them a little bit and i was like maybe i should try that because i'm always kind of struggling with the way my freckles look and i thought maybe if i accentuate them just a tiny bit they'll look prettier so We'll see. We'll just try it out. We'll be a little bit adventurous, you know, think outside the box because like I said, I'm pretty boring when it comes to makeup. I stick to the same stuff. So maybe this is a good thing. So I ordered the Tarte 
freckle enhancer again i don't know what it's called but that's what i ordered and i also ordered um one of their eyebrow products and what else like a bronzer thing because i love bronzer so when i get those i'll show them to you i'm gonna pick this up i'm gonna kind of fix my vanity a little bit because like i said it's it's messy and i i'm not happy with it so um and then i'm gonna get dressed get something to eat because i'm i'm starving and um then we're gonna talk about the nativa spa products that i just used because you're gonna love some of these products i promise you <laughs> Okay, so this is what it looks like now. As you can see, I don't have too many things here. I got rid of a lot of stuff because there's a lot of lipsticks that I can't use right now. And then I have these little clips here that I got. I think it was from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I can't remember. But sometimes I get my hair up when I'm doing my, my makeup. So that works out um, perfectly just to have them handy here. Um, if one of my kids doesn't take it because Sophie loves to take my stuff. But <laughs> um, yeah, just have the stuff that i use all the time um i guess you can say like handy and then here i have the usual stuff you know just like my dior stuff this is the neck cream that i've been using be poised um my brushes on the side i have my brushes as well and then like my skincare and then here i have um you know like my foundation i have my merit serum which as you can see i'm like out of this already i have only a little left i love this product it's really really nice on your skin um yeah and just that's pretty much it pretty minimal but i have everything i need here so it's perfect before i go downstairs to eat i just wanted to quickly review um my nativa spa products that i use because honestly i'm <laughs> so impressed by the way i don't have to mention these on here i'm mentioning them because i genuinely am in love with these products well initially i just wanted to try them out just to see what they were all about but now that i've tried them i want to talk about them because i just think they're amazing so so good i want to start off with my personal favorite which is the madagascar um body scrub and the reason why i love this so much is because i i don't know if you've noticed but i do not own any um body scrubs and there's a reason for it because most body scrubs honestly just dry my skin and obviously i don't want to use a body scrub that's going to dry my skin and i have to say that i don't know what i know that this is 100 percent um quinoa in it and i have to say that they have this formula right they just did something right because this is the first body scrub that i've ever used it doesn't dry my skin it just has a way of moisturizing your skin it's, it has like oil in it which is a quinoa oil but it's not like a greasy oil it's kind of like waxy a little bit so it scrubs your body but at the same time deposits moisture in your skin and i'm just obsessed with it i was just talking with my mom about it because my mom got these products as well um, she got the goodie bag and she's like, Heidi, this is, this is amazing. Like, it's so, so good. Um, it's our favorite, to be honest. And then they have this little golden spoon, which is just so beautiful, so luxe. Like, oh my God, the fact that they thought about that is just so special, so beautiful. And it's just, can we just have a moment 
for the aesthetics here because this looks really nice and then they also gave me a little um gua sha which you do know that i love gua sha so so much this one's a little bit better than the one that i have um it's heavy it's very very luxe it's just a substantial little gua sha plate and i just love it i love the size too because you could use it for your legs as well like for circulation for deep puffing i think it would be a great um gua sha to use on like your body not just like your face or your neck i usually do like my neck and my face so i'll probably be using this one more like for my legs to get that circulation going and then here i have the um quinoa firming body oil i loved it it's a really really nice oil it's not overly oily it's the perfect amount of oil and what i did is i applied this on my skin before I put the lotion. I kind of took the approach of, you know, oils and serums before um, lotion or before your creams. That's what I did. And I don't know if specifically that's the way I should use it, but that's how I used it and I like it because it really kind of sealed the oil and the moisture in my skin. And this is the body cream, which is the firming body lotion. Again, another um, product that has 100% quinoa oil. It's a concentrate and it's just really, really good at moisturizing your skin. It's um, vegan, of course. Very, very impressed with the product. I am a fan. I'm officially a fan. I will be using this every single day. I could literally toss everything that I have in here, and I'm serious, and just use this and be happy. That's why I've placed them here. Not just because they look beautiful, but because I'm going to be using this consistently. I just am... Um, in love i will link them in the description box just in case you're interested like i said i don't get anything out of this i don't have to mention them i am just truly in love with this product so if i had to choose like a product say you're on a budget and you don't want to have to buy the whole range my recommendation would 100 percent without a doubt the body scrub because it moisturizes your skin so beautifully it kind of gets all that dead skin out but it also moisturizes your skin and the body lotion i feel like with these two it's enough honestly the oil is kind of just a nice little extra thing that you could use but technically you don't need the oil because just the body scrub and the lotion is so so good that your skin is going to love it so just wanted to mention it because like I said, I'm very much in love with this. And also I wanted to mention this product that I purchased last time in one of our one of the hauls that I did. Um, Gnome, the perfect night sleep bath foam. Still my favorite. As you can see, I am going through this very, very fast. And just holding it, I'm smelling this. It smells so delicious it's a spa in a bottle and what i love about it is that well besides the fact that it's relaxing and it kind of gives a nice little bubble in your bath um it really moisturizes your skin so this is one that i am loving so yeah just wanted to mention that these um like air fryer um veggies they're supposed to put it in an air fryer but i just i literally just put it in a pan with a little bit of olive oil and um i got this from Publix. it was only five dollars and the portion is pretty good this is for my husband and i the kids are gonna eat something completely different i made some taco meat so they're gonna have tacos oh also this goes on this is a seasoning that it comes with and it's delicious but i wait until it cooks a little bit before i put this this way it has a taste when it's done so yeah i'm just gonna cover this up 
and cook this for a little. So here it is. Um, I have mahi-mahi and I seasoned it with paprika, a little bit of pepper, complete seasoning, some olive oil, and that's it. And it's super, super tasty. Oh, and lemon. And then here are the vegetables. As you can see, they're nicely um, seasoned as well. And yeah, this is a very, very filling meal. I think it's the perfect size. It's not too much food, but it's very, very filling and very nutritious. I wanted to show you um, Farah's meal as well because she's going to eat with me right now. She's going to have some mahi-mahi and she has a little bit of hummus here with olive oil. Casey's pita chips, which she loves. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is just cut this into like small pieces. Yeah, but she eats pretty healthy to be honest. Usually she'll eat from my plate because I don't eat much and neither does she. So, um, but she eats the right things. But this time around, I'm giving her a bigger meal because she just had a banana in the morning. So, yeah. Mm. So good. I'm going to sit, answer emails, do a little bit of editing. That's just what I have to do during the day. Because usually in the afternoons, I'm doing homework with kids. I'm just like more focused on like things like that. And um, yeah. Oh my God. So look what I have. Don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> it's so funny because I eat so healthy, but then I have like my little things that I do that I know are not good. I know are bad for me. Like, let's be honest, Diet Coke, it almost erases whatever good I do, but it's just so good. It's so good. But what I do is I just put like a little bit here. So I kind of like trick myself, you know? And I just have a little, so. Are you fair? I'll come eat. Hello everyone, I'm back home. As you can see, I'm already in my little my little robe. I feel like this whole vlog is me in, in a robe, essentially, but it's fine. It's um it's one of those days, you know, like a relaxing, chill day. So <laughs> but no, I just I just literally threw on this robe because one of the things I want to start doing um whenever I get back from dropping off the kids, usually the schedule is like this. When we get back, I usually do dinner for them because my kids like having dinner like really early as soon as they get home they're like what's for dinner so i usually do dinner for them and sometimes i'll sit and like get on social media and stuff like that and i want to start doing something a little bit different this time around i want to um read for 10 minutes i'm up here for 10 minutes and read a book because honestly reading for me is something that it's a huge part of self-care like i'm just very cerebral like i'm the type of person that likes to think a lot and read and feed my mind and it really is a good de-stressor for me but it's so hard for me to implement reading into my schedule it takes me an eternity a day and hours to finish a book <laughs> like i'm serious because i mean for obvious reasons because you know just i'm so busy but I realize that, you know, you make time for the things that you want to do. You really, There's time for everything. It's just a matter of, like, kind of finding, like, a way to incorporate it into your schedule. And the best thing I can do is take 10 minutes every day and read a little bit. I don't have to sit there and read for, like, half an hour or an hour. It's not necessary and not feasible, of course. But even if it's just 10 minutes it relaxes me it's me time and then i can go back downstairs and do homework with the kids and be mommy <laughs> so that's what i'm going to start doing and i'm going to start with this book the joy of well-being this was in the little goodie bag that um nativa spa gave us and i just noticed when i picked it up right now that um it's written by the co-founders of mind body green if you notice on the bottom so um i love that because really that's that's what mind body and green is all about i love their concept by the way i'll see if i can put their instagram um in the description box in case you're interested i always link everything by the way whatever products i talk about um if i visited like an ice cream place i'm always linking a bunch of stuff in the description box so don't forget to take a look whenever you're interested in something and if i haven't linked something just let me know and i'll link it but I usually link what I'm wearing, what I talk about, and just everything in between. But anyways, back to this. This um, 
this company really focuses on exactly that mind body green which is essentially just taking care of yourself from the inside out what you eat you know making sure you get all those greens in you eat everything that's good for your body um whole foods and stuff like that and also um really being mindful of what kind of products you use on your skin that are like natural and you know don't have any toxins which is the reason why i think they kind of collaborated with nativa spa for that event is because they both kind of align with those like um values and stuff which and i really respect that because i think it's super important to just take care of yourself in every way you can from the inside out because i think there's a lot of people who like maybe go to the gym or you know take care of themselves but at the end of the day they're not maybe eating the right things or feeding their mind with the right things or like using the right products i think it's a matter of like really just taking care of yourself so i love that concept so i'm excited to read this book i'll let you know next vlog how it's going because i'm going to read a little bit right now but i will end the vlog here i'm going to take 10 minutes to myself but i have noticed some new people on here i just want to thank you for subscribing to my channel it really means a lot to me i'm grateful for everyone that subscribes to my channel and i would love to get to know you so if you want to drop me a comment go ahead i check my comments all the time and if you haven't done so already i would love for you to join our small family and subscribe to my channel and i'll see everyone next time bye